<laughs> you would probably just leave the old stuff so that he could avoid the uh, customer support. I found uh, I found his Twitter. Oh. But a phone number would be better. I could use my Skype credits then. <laughs> He's an African American. He's black. It's, yeah, that's what his picture shows. I can't believe that. Last I heard, he was white. The battle cruiser guy. That's just weird. But if, he, if he's black, well, shit. That's something new. But it doesn't excuse him for making a pretty poor game. <laughs> yeah, and not including a manual. Let's see. Maybe he has it on his links section on his website. No. Right, we're getting close. Oh man, he looks like super metrosexual on his Facebook page. <laughs> metrosexual? What, what, is, what does that mean? It's like a guy... From what I understand, it's like a guy who's not gay. But like he takes so good a care of himself that hey. he might look gay. From hyperspace. He looks so good he might as well be gay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No offense to gays, but that's my interpretation. Let me Google it. Let me Google it. Get yeah. a Google definition. Yeah, let, let's get the real definition. A young, urban, heterosexual male with liberal <laughs> political views, an interest in fashion, and a refined sense of taste. So basically, I a snobby bitch. Better. Yes. I don't know about you, but when it comes to fashion, dark green t-shirts are the ballers. It sounds like he's like a rich hipster. A rich hipster? <laughs> That's like an oxymoron. Rich hipster. It's like all this cool stuff that only he and a small group of people enjoy because they're rich. That's, a, that's such an oxymoron. The rich and the hipster don't really go hand to hand. Come on, let me define hipster for us too. What I know is Who hipster is loves Starbucks coffee and shitty I'm uh, and shitty Mac laptops. Oh, here we go. Hipster, a person who follows the latest trends and fashions, especially those regarded as being outside the cultural mainstream. Yeah, he's a rich hipster, at least according to Google. Hmm. So by that definition, goths would be considered hipsters too. Yep. The more you know. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. The stupid shit you hear on Battle Cruiser Millennium. Oh, what about that <laughs> gameplay? Oh wait, we don't know anything. It's like this is like your Hammer Watch for your channel, where we play this game, but we never talk about this game because we don't know what's happening, or yeah. there's just nothing to say. Yeah, but in the case of Hammerwatch, we know what's happening. You're just walking around the dungeon, killing monsters and progressing through the levels. There isn't much to know. Here, there's so much to know that we don't know anything. <laughs> I guess uh, in that case, we could be considered the wisest, because as Aristotle said, I am the wisest, for I know nothing. Or something like that. Yes. It, yeah, I've heard that before. I, I botched that. Uh, quote, but it is kind of similar like that. I, I normally hear it when I play Civ 5 by myself, and because uh, I'll be damned, but those fucking AIs, they just don't know how to take wonders. <laughs> <laughs> like shit, 20 turns in, the pyramids have been complete. And that's apparently uh, something that takes quite a bit of effort to build. I don't know why. What the? Wait, did we just fly through this? Yep, we are now on waypoint six out of five. We're going to fly all over to Syrian Hadars. The uh, pink sock just never gets old down there in the in the bottom right corner. Well, at least it doesn't look fleshy. That would be just sick. <laughs> that would be disturbing. Yeah, I wouldn't want any of that shit. So we have to give credit to Derek Smart. He made good graphics for the time. 
Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, I really think he made a good job on the graphics, if he did. And if he didn't, well, whoever did, he did good work for the 2003 efforts, well, standards. Yeah. For something as big as this game, yeah. There's definitely worse looking games. Even today. <laughs> <laughs> but but for the standards of that time, I'd say this is pretty advanced. Hyperdrive activated. Yes. I can't imagine what kind of a computer you would need at that time to actually run this properly. Speaking of which, that reminds me. The first time I laid my eyes upon GTA 3. What a glorious day it was. I put it into my PC, install it, turn it on, and it fucking lags. <laughs> I can't fucking move at all. Like 3 frames per second. Silky smooth 3 frames per second. I couldn't do shit, but damn do I persevered. I managed to do a couple of missions before I decided this is just too fucking much. Not too long after I did manage to get an upgrade, which lasted me for five years, I think. Oh my goodness. Then the game didn't <laughs> just lag. Shit. Yeah, but now that I think about it actually, I've never finished GTA 3 at all. Huh. I guess I have something to record for the channel then. The only GTA I finished was the last one, because I never was really into the GTA games, ever. I finished GTA Vice City a couple of times, and San Andreas a couple of times. That's about it. GTA 4 was poop, and GTA 5 is still awaiting to be released, which amuses me, because there is one cunt on Freedom Forums who just keeps bitching about it, like it's the end of the world. Just wait a bit, you <laughs> dumbass. The game will come out when it's uh, deemed ready. What, you wanna have a buggy experience, you dumb son of a bitch? No, of course not. Just hold your horses. Knowing Rockstar, it'll still come out and the online will be fucked up for like the first week. Yeah, but if you release it before, be, well, on a on a original release date, it probably would have been even worse. Yes, this is true. Damn, the distances to these jump gates just keep getting bigger and bigger. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, we're going past a golf ball. I can't even tell what the hell it is. It's just gray. It's probably another earth. You think that usually goes gray? <laughs> yeah, that looks like an earth. <laughs> looks like a very light blue uh. earth, actually. See you later. See you later, alligator. Oh, hyperdrive the hyperdrive is warmed up. Good. I like to use it whenever possible. It gets the job done. It's not well, nearly it's as just... fast. No? No, it's not nearly as fast as There's the main thrusters, but it still does the job. Which I'm happy about. Ah, there appears to be no sunlight shining upon us. Oh well. Great. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in this purple grape drank space. Apps of fucking Luli nothing by the looks of it. There's <laughs> nothing here. <laughs> Just some good old fish sticks flying all over the place. Damn, I haven't eaten fish sticks in such a long time. Holy shit. The blackness. The imaginary cosmos of shitty games. Shitty games. Shitty games everywhere. Yep. 
And to think I would call a lot of game shit be before calling names and whatever. Like that fucking Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Back in the days it was quite ridiculous. Swearing was quite the norm. Nowadays I, I guess I kinda calm down. Maybe it's better that yeah. way. It always seems like you have more uh, information than just random bullshit going on. Well, I guess that's what people want to hear, actually. They want to know more about what the hell they're looking at. And if all they hear is fuck this, fuck that, well, it's not gonna come out very nice, is it? Of course, a, no. couple, of, a couple of swear words isn't bad. It lightens up the mood a little. Maybe makes the jokes a little more apparent. It's just like spices. You gotta use it in moderate amounts. Don't worry, we're going past another Earth, though. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> and we never see it again. Probably oh. no one even lives there. You know, I'm kind of convinced that you have a like a tow cable on that disco ball, and they're just towing it throughout the universe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sage Bling of bringing the party to you. Yeah, shit, we're almost there. Well, we're getting pretty close at least. Yeah, they're pretty close to our destination. Will shit hit the fan? Or will Sage Blinga find a new way to kill himself? We'll find out soon Always. enough. You don't even have to I'm tune surprised. out of this. <laughs> I'm surprised we, we haven't gotten attacked yet by anyone. Yeah, every time enemies show up, I keep seeing that there's, well, except in this case, that there's mostly somebody to keep them company, and we generally do not get attacked. Which is good. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, you can check the power system status around here. Pretty cool. Crew status. RE. What's RE? Absent. <clears throat> Great. Uh, RE? Who the hell is RE? There's no such thing here. What the shit? You left him. Oh well. Well, see you later. <laughs> I guess he left us uh, back at Al uh, Galcom HQ when he had the chance. Fuck this Sage Bling guy, I'm out of here before he kills me. Emerging from Again. I like to sign a contract of leaving. Why? This damn Sage Bling, he killed me five times already. Five times? I didn't do that. Hell if I know. I just keep waking up in this cloning module. Next thing I know, they're crashing Crash. into another thing. In the ocean, into a building, into Jupiter. <laughs> well, we have achieved quite some uh, amazing uh, feats, when you think about it. Crashing into Jupiter doesn't sound like something you can do every day. Only if you're Sage Blinga. Of course. Sage Blinga is quite a tough bastard, isn't he? He doesn't die that easy. No. Oh, the piano track is playing again. First, oh, I just kind go. of wind for no good reason, but there we go. You guys, that space wind in it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not far from truth. There are solar winds. But uh, that's about it. <laughs> oh, 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 there is a sun somewhere nearby. We're getting 38% solar energy from it. So I guess. Do we have solar yeah. panels on this? Oh, yeah, we do have solar panels. Speaking of which, did you hear the news? The first solar energy powered airplane actually took off from Abu Dhabi. I would never want to be on that, I'll be honest. 
It's quite cool actually, it's completely powered by solar panels, it needs no fuel at all. As long as it's during the day, my only <laughs> concern would be if you, you have to fly somewhere. Like you have to plan that shit properly, otherwise you're just fucked. <laughs> Yeah, but still, it's pretty cool when you think about it. A first plane that just flies on its own, no fuel, no nothing, just solar energy. And surprisingly enough, it is also the lightest airplane available. It really? only it only weights like two tons. It's like a car. It's less than a car. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty much like a normal car. And it goes, I think, around 150 kilometers per hour, maybe a bit faster than that. It's not a very big plane. It only has this uh, space for two pilots. Still, How it many is... passengers? <laughs> oh, um, just two pilots, that's it. Yeah, that's just it. And one pilot can fly at a time, so we're gonna keep swapping places. It's quite interesting. I like that. I, I like the idea of this plane. Who knows, maybe the commercial planes will adopt the idea as well. That'd be cool. That would really cut down on the plane ticket costs. You'd be flying yourself though. Like you just rent a plane and then go. Yeah, you can just meet up with random hobos in the marketplace. Do you wanna rent a plane, sir? <laughs> uh, sure, how much? <laughs> uh, just $500. Okay, where is it? Uh, right over there, in the fields. If you can lift it out of there, it's all yours for a day. Well, actually, now that, I, now that I think about it, 500 for a day for a plane, that's not a bad deal. For a whole day? That's like a plane ticket. Yeah, a plane ticket of your own personal adventure. Hyperdrive activated. Just be sure you know how to pilot. Oops. <laughs> <coughs> ah well. Autopilot. Hopefully it would have autopilot on it, because otherwise I'd, I'd be fucked. I'm sure I could figure it out as I crashed. Ah, what's that rubber ball doing there? Did you, <laughs> did you drop the ball? No. No, it's my bubble gum. No, it actually looks like a a bleached out basketball. Oh, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Is it Shit. Earth again? Fuck. I cannot stop the ship anymore. We'll just have to... See you later, Earth. Yeah, it's Earth. It's just darker. <laughs> Disco ball. I it's claim fee. It's like a big Pokeball. Pokeball, so it's just gonna capture that earth. I choose you, oh. Earth Ball. <laughs> it's become a nipple. Soon it will become one with a disco. Wait, the It'll disco ball is expanding. That usually means we're getting Shit. close. Oh, yeah, we are getting close. The disco ball has expanded to such great length. But we cannot see it anymore. It is so thin, it's practically invisible. Emerging it's just a sheet space. of dust. Oh! What the Hello. bitches? <laughs> Bringing the goods to the market. Back data. into the saw. And here oh. we are. We here? Yeah. We've reached it. The end of the world. Let's kick up these engines a bit. Right. So we're, f we're currently in cruising. Uh, that looks like a planet, but I don't think so. Hmm. I'm missing something. Is anyone here? This looks pretty desolate. Well, you would expect that out here. But... Oh, here's Regis. Regis 6. Doesn't this look kind of similar to Pluto, actually? Warning. Acquired. A satellite? Right. 
let's get uh, coordinates on this. This is it. Now we will find out. Will Sage bling a die? Place your bets, yes. folks. Place your bets. Hyperdrive activated. Fuck your you hyperdrive. Will be oh shit. They got there too fast. <laughs> Dang, Nabbit, they beat me to it. Okay, I don't need the waypoint mapper anymore. To Siren System? Fuck this shit, I don't need Siren System. How about you give me Regis 6? Alright, now we know where to go. Pretty close. You should be there soon. Finally, our destination. There. Uh oh, somebody's jamming our signal. Well, good luck with that asshole, I'm in the hyperdrive. 